Mattel has been an integral part of many of our childhoods. Creations such as Barbie, American Girl, Uno, Fisher Price, and Mega are the sources of some of our fondest childhood memories. And it's all thanks to Mattel. However, as the 2010s unfolded, this gigantic entertainment empire began to go through a series of losses. The company struggled to stay afloat, but its fortune changed when a certain man took on the reins of leadership, Yanan Kreis. Kreis has been known for many things in his life, including being a mere immigrant. But today, he is mostly known as the man who saved Mattel from collapse, giving the next generation of children a taste of what made our childhoods so memorable. This is the story of Yanan Kreis and how he went from being an immigrant to CEO of one of America's largest toy manufacturers. We at Business Chronicles tell the stories of extraordinarily successful people. Please subscribe to our channel to help us make more videos. Before we get into how Kreis became the hero of Mattel, let's talk a little about his origin. Yanan Kreis was born and raised in Ramat Gan, Israel. Because he wasn't born in this country, there aren't a lot of records on Kreis' life before he moved to the US. However, we do know that he stayed in Israel until he was done with college. He earned a degree in economics and management from Tel Aviv University, Israel, and this was in the year 1991. After graduating from college, Kreis migrated to the US to further his education. In the same year, he enrolled in UCLA's Anderson School of Management where he completed his MBA program. Attending a school in Los Angeles, California introduced Kreis to a whole new world. The city has always been vibrant and at the heart of this vibrancy is the TV and movie industry. This exposure may have influenced Kreis' career choice and so he went from being just an Israeli on a student visa to being interested in the world of showbiz and entertainment. While at UCLA, Yanan Kreis met and became friends with Haim Saban, a fellow Israeli and a business mogul in the media industry. These two men struck a friendly relationship which branched out into business as well. In 1994, Kreis and Seban became business partners and this partnership marked the beginning of Kreis' career in the media and entertainment industry. Little did he know that he would go from being a business partner to CEO of Mattel. Like every successful business person, Kreis didn't start big but he didn't exactly start from zero either. Before he was introduced to Mattel, Kreis was involved in several jobs and the first public job he secured was in 1996, when he and his business partner Saban founded Fox Kids Europe, a television network for children. He was appointed as chairman and CEO of this network in 1997, and for the sake of this job, he relocated from the city of Los Angeles to London. Kreis' tenure as head of Fox Kids Europe spanned from 1997 to 2002. And during this time, the network experienced tremendous growth. It became one of the largest pay TV channels in not only Europe, but also the Middle East. It created children-centered shows in 56 countries in 17 languages, a kind of progress that is not typically experienced in the first five years of a company's establishment. In 2001, however, most of the stakes of Fox Kids Europe were purchased by Walt Disney, but Kreis remained the CEO and chairman for one more year. In 2002, he resigned from the company. His contract with the company expired around this time anyway. After leaving Fox Kids Europe, Kreis went into venture capitalism. As a venture capitalist, he invested capital in several small businesses in exchange for stakes in equity. From 2005 to 2007, Kreis was a general partner at Benchmark Capital, a European venture capitalist firm, and after a couple of years of filling this role, he stepped back from being an active venture capitalist and returned to his first love, the media industry. In 2008, Kreis joined Endemol, a Netherlands-based TV production giant. Endemol was known for producing popular shows such as Big Brother and other unscripted reality shows. But as he always did, Kreis integrated several changes in the company's functioning. As CEO of Endermall, he oversaw the expansion of the company from reality television into scripted programming, and this was just one of several changes he brought to Endermall. He resigned in 2011 after working there for just three years and went on to the next phase of his career. After being away from LA for so long, Yanan Kreis' career brought him back to the city in 2013. This time, it was a job offer from Maker Studios. Kreis was not new to this company. In fact, he was one of their investors, but now he got a deal to be CEO and chairman of the media company. 
At the time, Maker Studio produced content mostly for YouTube, but when Cries became boss, he upgraded things just like he had always done. During Cries' tenure, Maker expanded beyond YouTube and made deals with Disney, Dish Network, and Vimeo. The company also created mobile apps and branded video hubs for its content creators. By 2016, when Cries was stepping down as CEO, Maker Studio's net worth had increased exponentially. After leaving Maker Studios, Cries was on to his next business project, and it so happens that Mattel was in desperate need of intervention. Their sales had plummeted over the years and they were no longer the largest toy seller in the US. Basically, their glory days were behind them, and they explored every available channel to change that status. This included hiring new CEOs. In fact, within four years, the company hired four CEOs. Fortunately for them, in 2018, the company hired Cries and now they are better for it. When Cries became CEO of Mattel, the company had suffered a loss of $1.1 billion the previous year. As such, so much was expected of him and he did more than fulfill these expectations. I mean, he is still the company's CEO to date, so he must be doing something right. One of the things Cries did as CEO of Mattel was incorporate the company's most iconic toys on a much larger scale, a film for example. The 2023 Barbie movie is an example of this genius idea. As of September 2023, the Barbie movie has grossed over $1.3 billion worldwide, making it the highest grossing movie of the year just two months after its release. Mattel is set to earn billions of dollars in profit from the movie. And with that, it is safe to say that their years of struggling to make sales are behind them. And all this wouldn't be possible without the terrific leadership of Inan Kreis. Inan Kreis had a vision for not just Mattel, but every company that he was head of. And he managed to actualize these dreams. Today, Barbie dolls and other toys created by Mattel appear to be making a dramatic comeback. And the company's net sales are up by over 20%. Although it seems like he has reached the peak of his career, we can't help but wonder, what's next for Yanon Cries? Will he continue as CEO of Mattel? Or will he move on to another company in need of his incredible leadership? I guess only time will tell. We've come to the end of this video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.